هاي انتي ديبرسنتس انتي ديبرسنتس they are uh, wonderful when you first take them they make us happy they balance our thoughts they make us even happier okay but does this last can i rely on something like this for the rest of my life is it wise to take it for years it has been proven that antidepressants they cause pressure on the eye they low the blood pressure they cause confusion they cause blurred in the eyesight they uh, some in some cases it causes they cause the tummy to bleed inner bleed within the tummy and so many other things that a person cannot take you know and after all this what will happen is you will go back to your old person with the depression because the medicine is already within your body and it's used to that kind of medicine so you won't be having any progress within within the body within the mind do you think that you can rely on an antidepressant pill with those side side effects i had a case she was taking antidepressants and all of a sudden it wasn't there in the market and she had to stop it the next thing uh, she knows about herself that she wasn't at the hospital they told her that she, uh, she had low blood pressure which caused her to uh, lose uh, control of herself and some other things everything was like messed up within her body within her brain within herself am i that weak to rely on a pill now when i take it to solve a problem or to know, knowing that I will take it on temporary basis and at the same time work on myself, this is a different story because sometimes a depressed person who is having panic attacks and cannot cope with life anymore nor with people, they reach a stage that their brain is all black and they just need a little tiny sight so they can have some logic within their thinking. Now the depressed people, they would know what I'm talking about, but this is the case of a depressed person, severe depressed person. So you need at this point, if you will start to, com to, uh, to, to think about committing suicide, you need the antidepressant, but not to take it for a long time. Let me tell you my story. I reached a stage where I used to have, I had panic attacks, which I didn't know what they were and i was i had a severe depression and i had to go to a doctor and uh, she told me to take antidepressant pills which i did it was a good experience but because of one thing of one thing when i first took it when i first took it i was thinking that it will help me to work on myself because i was completely out of it i couldn't even uh, lift up an arm so it helped me and i knew that i was taking it but it, but when i took it i knew that i wasn't strong enough uh, to face what i'm facing and this gave me like kind of i was collapsed psychologically because to know that i'm not strong enough this is really it made me really depressed again but i convinced myself that I know that this is on temporary basis and I'm gonna be working on myself and the opposite, it will add to me. It will help me, you know, to get out of my depression. So I started searching, I started studying, I started the breathing technique, the yoga breathing technique, which is, which is in my course, I always advise you to take it. It's for your own good. Uh, it was the only thing uh, it was a major thing in my life, actually, when I, when I start, started doing uh, the breathing technique. It increases the happy hormone, so it really helped me. It gave me a peace of mind. Anyways, um, antidepressants are, you know, I had this, uh, I saw, I watched this uh, report about, uh, you know, America, what if 
the antidepressants were out of the market, what will happen to the people? Because they are most, most of them, they're taking antidepressants and they showed us that everybody was fighting. War was there and everybody was fighting everyone. No one can take any kind of pressure because they were used to the antidepressants. My story is uh, after, let me go back to my story. After a while, like almost eight months, I started feeling that I'm getting into depression again because I stopped also the breathing technique yoga. And that made me understand that the medication I'm taking is not working anymore because my body got used to it and gave me the motivation to continue uh, my yoga, the breathing technique. And until now, this is for years now, I don't want to tell you, so you won't figure out my age. <laughs> so, <clears throat> is it wise to continue taking the antidepressant? I don't think so. You know, being depressed is, is, is fine. And you need to accept it. This is you, and this is what made you a writer, or a romantic person, or somebody who has uh, deeper thoughts than anyone else, uh, your intuition is higher. These are the, the benefits of somebody who had depression. The intuition uh, that you can feel others, that you can help others. At the same time, everything has its positives and negatives and we need to learn how to balance these things within us to get the benefit out of them. So it's the, the solution is not to be under the mercy of uh, an antidepressant pill. Uh, the solution is to find out how can I be able to face things, to confront things, to, to be able to, to be stronger than before and, and to be proud of myself when I know how to deal with different problems, different people, uh, I think it will be amazing uh, to, to learn these things much better than uh, thinking that an antidepressant pill will be a solution for me. Uh, that will make me feel better about myself than just having a pill. There is no solution like one pill will solve a problem. It might for some time to help, but not forever. So. We are human beings and without our feelings, I, don't, I cannot find it a colorful life when I live without feelings. You know, the antidepressant, it makes me go around without feelings. There are no interactions, there are no uh, reactions. The, 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 the natural way, you will always find the person uh, going uh, slowly and being very calm but it's not in a normal way and there will be lots of swinging moods uh, this isn't what life is about life is 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 about to 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 go into life and, and to interact with people and and to have different reactions towards things and to have feelings this is the most important thing and when you know how to control them by breathing by uh, by by managing your thoughts, by being aware of different styles of trainings, and this will make you in progress. This will make you a better person. Feelings are the most important things thing in our lives, and it makes us gives us a meaning. It gives us a meaning to our lives. So to shut it down, this is not the right solution for how we feel or if we got if we were sad or if we got uh, we were under stress the solution is to face them and, and and to be happy about them it's kind of challenge it will this is how we grow you know we grow by challenging things in a healthy way not just we get away from them not by getting away from them and it's feelings are what we are today. Feelings are what will let you understand who you really are.
even if you decide to take antidepressants, be aware and be careful. We are human beings. We are born to, to live and to feel and to be happy. We learn from the pain, we learn from happiness. It's, it's all one thing, it's all one package for us to learn. So sometimes we fall, we we'll be very proud of ourselves when we get up again and live. Because, because you deserve to live this life in the right way, not by antidepressants.